Good morning, everyone. We are back for our 2024 outlook and our planner set up for the new upcoming year. We have a lot of goals to attain. We've got a lot of hopes that we're going to have coming in this next year. And this video is going to be very informationally packed. It is a lengthy, chattier video. Just trying to put in as much information into this video as I can. So with that being said, we also have some happy mail and we're going to get started with that. So 307 Design Studio, you all know Marlene from Snow Gardener 307. Her sister-in-law, Shannon, has a shop called 307 Design Studio. And yes, I got some more happy mail. The reason I'm trying to get my happy mail in now or quote unquote orders that I place is because one of my goals that I failed at this year was not shopping off of Etsy for myself. So now I am in a time crunch and a rush to the end by December 31st at midnight. Yes, New Year's Eve. Um, as we're ringing in 2024 here at our house, safe in our house, cozy and all things. I can't buy anything off Etsy for the next year. So I've got to get anything and everything I can possibly get that I know that I want for the 2024. And things that I'm not going to be able to obtain. I have a wish list on Etsy for my kids so they can go during Mother's Day in May, they can go towards, I don't know, um, my anniversary is in November, so mm, that's at the end of the year, and I'd have to wait very long times, but that's okay. Or my birthday, which is, again, at the end of the year, it's four days after Christmas. So if they decide they wanna buy me something, they can go on my Etsy wish list. I'm just now getting it set up. I'm just now adding items and things of that nature to it. And they can choose to do it that way so that I can still receive things off Etsy, but I can't buy it for myself. Now, if I buy something off Etsy for someone else, I have full gain to do so. But we are not buying Etsy off Etsy for myself for 2024. And that was a goal that I had for this year. But you all keep putting up some really cool things and really tempting me. So shame on you. <laughs> so with that being said, um, I do have this from... 307 Design Studios. Yes, sorry y'all, I did open it, I had to. But we have no spin stickers for free because Shannon is just that amazing. We also have extra, extra stickers. I would love to know where Shannon gets these little craft little bags because I want some of these. I love them and I want some. <laughs> so she gave me an array of stickers, freebie stickers y'all. Loving, loving, loving it so much i am obsessed with this shop through seven design studios it is just absolutely amazing love it love it love it apologize i can't see the stickers kids are sleeping dogs are kind of moving around a little bit but i think most of them are still sleeping we are crate training the dogs at night because all four dogs can't fit in the bed with mommy and daddy <laughs> when my husband comes over Fingers are crossed. We're hoping by this coming summer coming up. So that's a really big, huge thing. Now, here's what I actually ordered. It is another 100 envelope sticker tracker set. This is the Fred Jr. I don't have any Fred Jr. in my life, and now I do. I have the Happy Frogs that you've seen, and in the past, I do have the beautiful butterfly one. I don't know where I put it, y'all. I'm going to have to find it because I'm still trying to work through decluttering my room. I thought I was decluttered and obviously I'm not because I have learned that downsizing my house and I've done this since March of 2021 that downsizing my house is actually a blessing. Less really is more. The more things you have in the house the more cluttered it is. The more things you have to keep track of. The more things you've got to clean up. The more things you got to all this stuff. So we've downsized by 85%. I will say I just did get my birthday present slash Christmas present early. My birthday is actually four days after Christmas, but y'all, my washer went out a week and a half ago. Oh my God. This is the fourth and final time that my washer has gone out. And let me tell you, I was not going to replace it again. I was on the phone with my mom. She said, what's going on? I was talking to her. I was like, hold on. My washer went out and it's not working. And she's like, again? And I'm like, yes. And I'm not paying another $400 to replace the water housing, the pump housing again. It's just not gonna happen. I had purchased this off of Facebook Marketplace years ago. It is a front loader. It was in really good condition when I got it, but within like six months or so or something like that, the water pump went out. 
and it just keeps going out and this is a front loader and i'm sick and tired of it and i was i was just frustrated my mom abruptly hung up on me yes she did um and called me back within like 10 minutes and she's like happy birthday merry christmas really super early i just bought you a washer from home depot y'all i just got delivered yesterday i'm like on cloud nine we have mountains of laundry to get caught up on um hand washing laundry is just not a thing for me i'm not really good at it um but we do have a new washer in our house which i call it king george jr <laughs> I don't know what made me come up with that name because I don't know anything about King George, but King George Jr. is what I've called him. Um, we just call him Georgie, I think, for short. So, with that being said, um, we have a new washer in the house now, and his name is Georgie. So, yes, we name inanimate objects. It's kind of weird. So, with that being said, I am finally getting things done back in my living room again, slash now bedroom, because I converted my living room into my bedroom, and I absolutely love it i love it i love it i love it um so with that being said we've gotten that done i've got to get a lot more containers y'all now this is a year of savings for me which is kind of contradictory and the reason for that is i'm trying to move some things over real quick because i'm going to show you something that's really cool that i've come up with a system that is working really well for the house this is a year of savings for us okay but with that being said y'all know we're doing a home or radio in our house we are not upgrading this house this is not my house i'm not going to upgrade it for my landlord and when i move out <laughs> let him have all the upgrades why he's paid for all of it no we are redoing items in the house we are working on jesse's room and you guys will be seeing that video here shortly um we're redoing every room room by room i'm working on the kitchen still that is costing me an arm and a leg y'all i still got more many 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 more things to get but holy heck is it costing me a lot uh, Jessica's room is costing quite a bit. We're about, like I said, we're about halfway through it. I will be linking in the video when it comes out for Jessica's room, her wish list from Amazon. Now, that's not specifically for y'all to be buying anything off of there. I'm just showing you ideas that I've got for her room. And you might see a couple of different headboards on there because I'm not sure which one I'm getting yet. But I've got to make that decision rather quickly because I'm going to be purchasing that here ASAP. So... We've gotten her comforter. We've gotten her sheet. She's got a mattress pad. She's got her drapes came in. Her 8x10 area rug has come in. All things have started to come in, but there's a lot more still left to get. I'm getting her a brand new desk for her room, a new desk chair. Jessica is about all things royal blue, either navy or royal blue. And so we're trying to put her scheme together for her on what she's going to have. She is also going to get some bed risers like Philip and I have to make her bed, bed at like waist level. There's a lot of things that are going into Jesse's wish list. Again, that's for you guys to look at and say, oh, that's cool. Maybe you want to buy it for yourself. Or the, the video that's going to be coming out, um, I will end up linking everything I've already purchased for her that you'll see in the video in case you're interested. Now, again, I am not an Amazon affiliate and I'm going to actually talk to Amazon because if they're still tracking people when you purchase something that pisses me off because people don't want to be tracked when you purchase something that way they'll start giving you ads of hey this and hey that you bought this at Amazon how about this and no nah, no nah, people need their privacy so before I ever put up like an Amazon storefront I want to talk with Amazon about their tracking policies and how I can get you guys around that where you're not going to be tracked otherwise I won't put one up at all so with that being said long story short yes we're going to redo things in the house and um we are going to spend money still but it's a year of savings for us and i've got a i've got a system that i'm going to show you here in a minute in this binder that's going to show you that now what i do want to show you that i came across really super cool is i was looking for some adhesive pockets i have been using labels from avery and not realizing and not thinking and not researching and it's my bad that the labels that i put on some things they don't want to come off like I have used rubbing alcohol, I have used nail polish remover, I have used a heat gun, I have used all kinds of things and I can't get the crap off. <laughs> I'm so mad. So I have switched over to these which will go over the labels because I'm an idiot. And um, they're little adhesive pockets and I put these on Jessie's fabric drawers that are in her cubicles uh, for her clothing. And I bought a pack of these, these are separate, these are not they do not come with the adhesive pockets, but these are separate. And I've got a pack of 600, and I've got all kinds of colors. I don't know what colors are here. Y'all, I don't see color or anything like that. But this whole 
little package back here, a little box that I have. I just filled them with these little cards. Okay, these are three by five index unrolled colored cards. And then I had bought a pack of 36 of these. I'll be buying some more. And I'm just writing on there what I need to write. And after I do that, I just insert them. They do fit very snugly, heads up, but they do fit into here. And then what I'll do is I'll just peel off the adhesive, which I don't want to do right now, but I'm just going to show you real quick. Oh, got to go from the top. And this adhesive is super duper sticky. Again, I put it on the fabric drawers in Jesse's room and we just wrote on there what was in the drawer, like socks and things of that nature, so that she knows which drawer has what in it. Not that she can't memorize it, but Jesse has a hard time with that. So the adhesive packs came with 36 of these sleeves and I am in love with them. If anybody's interested, let me know. I will link it down below for you. If you're interested in getting the cards, there were 600 cards. I think there's like five, six different colors over here in that box here. And uh, that's what I did. And that's what I'm doing for my living room as well because you all know that I put my living room, is now my bedroom. And it is just freaking amazing the way I have it set up right now. I have to work through getting the rest of my quote unquote decluttering of my living room. I gotta buy a bunch more of the plastic see-through bins in different sizes so that they can go up on my shelving systems here in my living room, which are just absolutely amazing. When I start my room redo, I will give you guys a heads up and I will give you that channel that I'll be working on because yes, I'm working on two extra extra channels, which means I'm not gonna be with three channels, y'all. I'm gonna have four when it's said and done. Hopefully by the end of this month, I'll have the third channel put up and then the fourth channel. The third channel is gonna be my weight loss channel, just geared towards me keeping things on track and being consistent. If I'm uploading, then I'm gonna be consistent, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna have to be consistent. And then the fourth channel is the channel that is gonna be our family vlogging channel. Um, of things that we're doing around the house, our daily life, our meal plans, our food, all of that stuff. I'm trying to keep all of my genres separate. I've got my preps, I got my budgeting, I'm doing my weight loss one, and then I'm gonna do a family vlogging channel. So yeah, heck yeah, that's a lot of channels. Upcoming for 2024. So, wanted to show you this real quick. Thought it was super cool. Uh, easy way for me to label things, and then when I'm done, I can always take this paper out if, if whatever's in the container ends up being something else. And putting a new paper in then I don't have to deal with those crappy Avery labels that they won't come off anything <laughs> I'm so mad I did that um so anyways there you go we got that let's start into this binder and then we'll talk a little bit more and then psh, I'll let you guys cut free with that being said um we have this this is my 2024 outlook y'all don't judge a book by its cover I did that I bought the budget by paycheck workbook system from the budget mom. And when I first went through it, I was kind of like, mm, I was not liking it. I was thinking there's too much information. I wanted more minimalistic viewer things. And I guess that's not what vibes with me. I guess being detailed like I am in this video is what vibes. So I'm already starting December, but because I bought the printable version and I only paid $27 for it, y'all. I know a lot of people want to pay the big bucks and get the really nice binder set to them but y'all you can only use it once oops and after you use it what is going on here i'm oh let me try to put that down there after using it once you can't use it again then you have to buy another one the next year and then you have to buy another one the next year i got the oil spill and the only thing i will say now is i wish i would have bought the floral, floral pattern not that i would have given it its full justice by printing it in color but I don't like all the black oil spill type. It, every between each one of the months, it puts a whole black page and I hate that because it drains my ink. But because I bought it digitally and just had them send me it, guess what? I already printed out a second copy, y'all. Yes, I did. I printed out a second copy. It's undated, y'all. I can reprint this over and over and over again. Now you're gonna hear the word never come out of my mouth, which everybody says don't ever say never. I'm saying never. I have now three paycheck budget systems. I have this one by the budget mom, the paycheck workbook by the budget mom. Okay. I have a rainbow budgets original one from her Etsy shop. And I love rainbow budgets y'all. She's absolutely, Natalie is just so sweet. She's absolutely amazing. Um, I have hers from her original paycheck budget system. And that is also undated and I got that off Etsy. And I also have, which you've seen me use many, many, many times, 
the organized money budget system and that is also in dated and it's a lot like the budget mom it's very much an excel type format and things of that nature and it's also undated so i have three planners now y'all you're never gonna see me buy another planner sorry it's not gonna happen so i have what i need i think i got this in august i, I got it the day that it literally launched i was like mm, i'm all over it it's mine I also noticed when I went in there to reprint this one, she gave us the stickers. So my daughter is moving back to Arkansas as of today. So y'all please keep her in your thoughts. And if you pray, keep her in your prayers for a safe return. She only has a three, a little about three hour drive from Oklahoma to Arkansas. She's moving back to Arkansas today. So with that being said, when she gets everything set up and all back in place, I'm gonna have her go in there and print the stickers out for me because I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know how to do it. And I don't know what stickers are included, but we do have the stickers. I'm, I'm assuming we have the same stickers that everybody has that actually purchased the physical copy. Yet I purchased the printable copy and I'm so happy I did. So with that being said, that is our workbook gonna be for this year, our budget paycheck system. I'm super excited. Now, consistency is my goal for 2024. Not shopping on Etsy is a goal for 2024. Um, and then the other goal I have for 2024 is, I just lost track of it because <laughs> I'm talking too much, um, to be consistent, to not shop on Etsy, and there was something else. Holy cow. All right. It'll come to me in a minute and I'll think about it. Um, great way to start out, getting ready to start out 2024, forgetting my goals already. <laughs> I did put a cardstock piece of paper in between each section just to kind of section it off make it easy for me so just a colored cardstock tracking that's it <laughs> i knew it was going to come to me all right tracking so here's the deal at the end of this video if you watch all the video or towards the end i should say if you have an email address email me down below at carebearcollector76 at yahoo.com okay just go down below at the very end where it will say in my description box how to contact me yes my email address is in there my instagram is in there and yeah also because people have asked me i don't have a p.o box y'all i cannot take an uber to consistently go back and forth to a p.o box it's just not gonna happen it just would cost me way too much and i don't want to pay for a p.o box you have my address. So if you want to send me a little card, you can feel free to send me a card. I'm all happy with that. I love cards. Um, but throughout this video, I'm going to give you guys a really cool freebie. For anybody who's got a printer, and you have to have a printer because I will not physically mail this out. It would cost too much if I had to do too many of them. But if you have a printer, then there's going to be some directions towards the end of the video. If you follow those directions, you will get this entire packet for free. Now I sell it on my Etsy shop, but if you actually just watch this video and you find out where those instructions are and you email me your email address and put on the subject line 5.5K challenge, I will mail email this to you for free, the download, and you can save it to your files on your printer, or I'm sorry, on your computer and you can print this over and over again. This is my 5.5K challenge I sell on Etsy. It's in increments of 100, so it starts at 100 and goes to 1,000. Um, but I've got it clipped off right now, so I have sections right here. But each one, it says a 100, a 200. Now, you see me do this when I do my 100 to my $1,000 challenge. What I did is I just printed little dashboards, y'all. And the dashboards, like the 100 envelope, or 100 envelope, I'm sorry, that's the next challenge. The 100 savings challenge here that is for my veritable buffer the 200 is for me that's for self and personal care the 300 is for pets now that is what i've made the categories for myself when you print this out you can make your own dashboards and let me see here do i have my binder sitting here without knocking everything over i do i do i do i do nope that's the wrong one that's the secondary binder that's my housing binder Oh, for all my binders. Just so you guys know, for those of you who might be brand new to budgeting. Okay, my 100 
envelope challenge. I had my daughter make these up, okay? I'm going to get her butt online to make a bunch of these for me and send them to me and then I'm going to pay her for them and I'm going to sell them because I'm going to turn this into her whole package and I'm going to have her sell those to me, the stickers, the 100, the 200, so you can put them on envelopes like I did. Now, these are the dashboards. I've decided that the 100 envelope, oh my god, why do I keep saying envelope? The $100 challenge is veritable spending. I decided and made the category the $200 challenge is going to be for me. So you can make your own little dashboards, which are just the just a little uh, A6 size paper, and then decide what you want to do for each challenge. Make it unique. Make it yours. Design your own categories. And so that's what I did. Now, again, I'm going to have her do the stickers. I've got to give her a couple of weeks to be back in Arkansas before she does this because her printer and all that's going to be in her storage for a while. So, with that being said, hopefully mid-December or so, I'm gonna have her start making those and I'm gonna turn this into an actual pack online. So if you follow the directions, you'll be able to get this pack completely for free. All right. So with that being said, I do have this as a pack. My very first pack on Etsy has gone up and we will be doing a lot of packs from here on out. I'm gonna revise, I keep telling you guys I'm gonna do this, but I'm still getting over COVID. I've had it for six weeks, and everything in my house just kinda of went to the wayside until I got over this. Now, I still have some lingering symptoms, but I'm working through them. The 26, the 50, and the 100 envelope challenge, I have this in a pack online on my Etsy shop. It comes with these three challenges on cardstock. It also comes with five color pencils. That way for each week, say the first week of every month, you want to use the purple and whatever you color purple, you'll know that the first week of every month, that's how much you saved on each one of these challenges. The reason I put five colored pencils and they're randomly chosen colored, colored pencils is because sometimes there's five weeks in a month. So we've got that taken care of. With that also comes you'll get three of these envelopes. These are the A6 envelopes and I got it upside down. <laughs> these are the flap envelopes where you'll have to flap it open and then you put in what you want and you can flap it close if you want. And then they have the A6 holes. So just letting you know that right now my Etsy shop is on a Black Friday sale until Monday. Everything is 35% off. You always get free shipping on my shop. So tracking, that's the other goal that I needed to do. I need to track. I have not been tracking any of these, but I've been putting money in. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to revise this. I'm going to print this out again. I'm throwing this away. I'm going to reprint this out. I'm going to count up what I have in currently in each one of my envelopes, and then I'm going to color in with Jessica. Obviously, my daughter Jessica will color these in for me. She is considered an assistant, which she gets paid to do things like this, y'all, because I can't see. I mean, give me a person who's blind who can color inside the lines. <laughs> Not going to happen. But she's going to recolor, and then we're going to get to one where it's just right at the amount, but maybe I don't have enough in the envelope, but almost. And then I'll make the corrections to that one. Same with these. I'm going to go back and count how much I have in each envelope, and then I'm going to color the biggest number of how much is in that envelope, and then we're going to work it that way. So tracking is my third goal, okay? That is my third goal. This is a new one that I've decided. I thought this was kind of cool. Um, I might be selling this on my Etsy as well. I'm going to probably have my daughter start working on making 100 little trackers too like this. But y'all, this is from uh, 307 Design Studios. I've already showed you this one. This is my froggy one. My butterfly is one around here somewhere. Um, i got to find it <laughs> since I've moved everything and I need to finish up my bedroom. Uh, redo. I need to organize it first and then my redo. But with that being said, I decided to buy some ball card um, little sleeves and once again I'm taking these little bitty um, non lined really card stocky they're not really like really thin thick cards like you see they, they're bendy little pieces of paper I'll just call them that because they're more like a thicker paper but not a card stock I'm having my son cut them down and he's putting them into here and this is a 36 pack okay this is quite a bit so this is over this is like one year seven and a half months worth of savings savings is one of my huge huge things this year this is one of my things i need to save money 
So I'm having him cut them down. He's going to be doing this tedious work over time, uh, little by little, and um, I'm slipping them in here. And the reason for that is that makes this a nine pocket and it makes the back a nine pocket. Without the actual little papers in here, it makes it just a nine pocket only because you don't have a backing. So I'm making this into a double sided. And what I'm going to do is every single time, now I'm doing the 100 envelope challenge more than once. But I've got three sheets of this. So I'm going to have Alexa pick a number between 1 and 100. And for example, I don't know if you can hear this. Alexa, turn the volume to 10. You guys will hear it now. Alexa, pick a number between 1 and 100. Here's a number between 1 and 100. It's 45. Okay, so I would pick the number 45 on here. I will put it on the middle part of right here, I'll stick it here, and then I'll stick $45 in here. And I'm gonna do that because I'm gonna have three different sheets, okay? So if 45 comes up three different times within a certain period, then I'm gonna pull from each one of the sheets. Bottom line is, I'm gonna do the 100 envelope challenge three times, plus the one I'm already working on. This one. So. I will have to buy another pack of ballpark cards because I think this gives me 1.7 years or yeah 1.7 years of being able to complete what I need to complete but I'm gonna add more to it and that's how I'm gonna do this this is my savings challenge for the entire year and I will not take the money out so I know a lot of people use the adult piggy banks y'all I'm not gonna be buying some cute little piggy bank Put all that money in just to destroy it no i couldn't destroy it i wouldn't be able to take the money out because i wouldn't want to destroy it <laughs> so that is my new challenge i'm thinking about putting it up on etsy once my daughter is able to do like a one to 100 pack tracker set and doing it for you guys as well and selling it as a pack give me ideas and thoughts on that because i just thought that was a really really cool idea uh i don't know what made me think about it i just saw ballpark cards and was like ah, I can do something with that <laughs> so all right now we're gonna go into my weight loss section this is something that's mainly gonna be on one of my what my channels it's gonna be my weight loss channel and it's just gonna be my name <laughs> so I'm just gonna put it as my name because Lord only knows what the hell I'm gonna do all on that channel but I'll do some fun things too so with that being said this is just my weight loss goals and things of that nature I'm gonna redo this page because I need to update it per se but I printed out a bunch of copies for it, you know, just to make sure. Um, this one here is really, really cool. This is my step counter. So y'all know I bought a brand new treadmill. It's an under the desk treadmill. I got it at a really good price um, from walmart.com. Unfortunately, it was outsourced to another company. I did have to pay like $60 in shipping. I was a little pissed about it. But that thing weighs like the devil, okay? So it was a plug and play. You just pull it out, pop the little um, out thing into the outlet, the electrical cord into the outlet. You get a remote with it, you turn it on and you start walking. Like literally, it's not even hard. Um, it does have a step counter on there. It does have a timer on there and it has a speed. Now it does not elevate and I don't need it to elevate. I'm not trying to walk Mount Everest, okay? So with that being said, I got a step counter. Now this is a 30 day step counter and I printed out 12 copies for myself for the whole year y'all now this came in a weight loss pack that i bought on etsy if anybody's interested let me know i'll link her shop below i've already linked it once before but i absolutely love this shop uh, because all of this is from there um but this is another thing that i've decided to do i put a year step calculator thing here too as well the reason for me doing that we'll go to that here real quick so I have a weight track. I think this is a weight tracker too. Um, step counter. Um, I got a year step counter. Uh, weight loss tracker and all that shit. Okay. So I do have that. I do have a weight loss tracker. And then um, towards the back here, I did print out with another company today. It cost me $1.75 because I, it's a Black Friday sale. Um, let's see if I can get there real quick. Because my kids aren't awake and I can't tell what I'm doing. Let me make sure I'm on. No, I don't want to. If I open that, let me see if I can open. It. There we go. Let's pull this around here. I'll open this real quick. You see where I'm at? What page I'm on? Just to make sure I'm. Okay, that's a habit tracker. I apologize, y'all. I forgot. 
I threw a habit tracker in here too. I forgot I did that. Um, so that's a habit tracker. I want to track some of my habits. I don't have a problem with drinking water. I drink 64 ounces minimum a day. So I only have one kidney <laughs> that tells you anything. I got to keep it healthy. Um, so with that being said, that is my habit tracker. And then I get into my other trackers here. So just so you can see, I'm going to let you look at them. And then they're going to be consistent. Um, I do have a weight tracker, but what I wanted to show you was back here. And most of this you're not going to see on this channel by any means. You'll be seeing that on my weight loss channel. And I will give that to anybody who is interested in it. As soon as I get it up and running, we're working on things right now for it. But I did buy this one and this one. It cost me a total of $1.75 from another shop today because it was on a Black Friday sale. I wanted to track not only my steps for the whole year. I wanted to see, okay, what my trends were, how well I was tracking, um, how my steps would calculate and things. Like if I did more steps in one month than another, um, kind of an overall look and view. And I did one for weight as well. Now I do have a weight tracker in here. Also, I've showed you guys these other um, trackers and things of that nature. I do have a weight tracker and things of that nature in here as well. So I have a monthly weight tracker. I do have a 100 um, day challenge in here as well. I think that was up towards the front. So with that being said, you know, I'm going to have to do that 100 day challenge over three times, three and a half times basically for the year. But I want to make sure that I'm staying on track because I don't want to be one of those people that says I'm going to do this and then not do it. <laughs> so I've got to accommodate for myself, but I got to be accountable. So that's a big thing for me this year. I have got to lose this weight. And it said, um, from my understanding, I have my fitness pal. I also have, and I have that for free, and I have a, another food tracker called HIT, and that one cost me, what did I pay for that? I think I paid 12 bucks for the year. It's a, it, and it, it calculates all my macros and stuff. So I, I, I combine between those two. And then I just found one, y'all. It's super exciting um, for me. Not Maybe not for you. It's called Happy Scale. Now, if you have iPhone, you got to have an Apple, I believe, to do this one. Because my daughter couldn't find it on her Android. But Happy Scale, S-C-A-L-E. $12 a month, or $12 a year. It's $11.99 a year, so $12 a year. You get a one-week trial before you start uh, paying for it, and I'm going to be paying for that on the 29th of November. So that one will be when my one-week uh, one trial ends. And basically, you go in there and you log your weight. You go in there, and I would suggest you turn on every single notification in there. I have it to track my weight by the day. I put in my goal weight, and it tells me, all right, your first goal is to hit 204.1 pounds. Right now, I'm at 212 even. So I haven't lost but a pound, but I'm at 212 even. And it will tell me my weight trends. It will tell me my estimated goal date of 120 pounds right now is my estimated goal. Overall is October of 2024, okay? So it tells me, okay, you've lost already 1.4 pounds because I went up to... 213.4 um, but right now I'm at 212 so it tells me okay in the last seven days and it hasn't been seven days but in the last seven days you lost 1.4 so when that seven day period ends it'll tell me exactly how much I did lose in seven days right now I'm on a track and so far I've lost 1.4 pounds and it hasn't even been seven days and it tracks it by the week it tracks it by the day it tracks it by the month it gives you goals and it says on my goal thing, again, the first goal weight is to hit 204.1. After that, it'll give me another goal weight. Right now, it says I'm at 9, I think it said I was at 9% to get to my first goal weight of 204.1. Again, if you have Apple and you're trying to track your weight, I promise you, you're going to love Happy Scale. I do have it told me to weigh in at 6 a.m. every morning. You know, I weigh in at like 4 a.m. when I wake up. But with that being said, that is helping me out significantly. I love this app that is my birthday present to me this year is that app for 12 bucks for the whole year all right so here's the grocery list that i am now coming up with again this is from the same program um printables on etsy from the weight loss this is the 
grocery list. Now, if you don't want the weight loss portion that had all different things in it, you can get by them separately from the Etsy shop as well. This is the grocery list, not only for me, but for my kids. And yes, my groceries are gonna be a little bit different, but y'all, I'm putting my kids on a more healthier plan as well. Um, and I want them to eat more of fresh veggies and fruit, which they do already, but just in case. This is going to be our weekly meal plan. Again, for my kids and myself, I have to do one each. One for them because none of them need to lose weight. All three of my kids are very healthy in weight. Um, two of my kids still need to gain a little bit of weight. I will say Jessie is finally up to 91 pounds, y'all. We're so excited. She's at her goal weight. Um, if you don't know, Jessica is four foot eleven and was at like barely 70 pounds. She was like 72 pounds, and she just doesn't gain weight very fast. But she doesn't eat very much either. She's like a bird. Uh, my daughter Danya is five foot nine and she weighs in at 132. And then Philip is really thin, but y'all, he eats like a horse. He is five foot eight at the age of 12, and he only weighs 115 pounds. Like he's super thin, but he eats like a horse. So I don't know. Um, and the last one is Food Diary. And again, that's going to be for my weight loss channel, but I did want to share that with you and let you know that that is in this packet. And thanks falling behind there is thanks for my kids' homeschooling stuff. This is a reading log list that I do keep um, that I found online for free. And I printed it out and I just recopy it over and over again so that my kids can track their reading logs. And I've got some other things behind there for my kids for homeschooling. So, very simple, easy outlook for 2024. Very easily put together. Did not cost me an arm and a leg. In fact, you know, I, it didn't cost me much of anything to do all these things. Now, the baseball cards, I did pay just under $7 for 36 pack. I will be buying another 36 pack to add to that. And then we'll just keep motivating. Let's see how much I can save in 2024 with that savings bonus pack that I put in there. So I really, really like the outlook on that. Uh, things about that in a full bit. So I wanted to come on, show you all of that. Now let's talk about, before I forget, because I almost forgot, about the savings challenge pack. Again, all you've got to do to get that free pack sent to you by email. Now this is email only. I will not print and ship it to you. By email is to go down below and give me a blue heart with the year 2024 behind it and then go over to my email now if you don't want to do email you can also instant message me on instagram it's all private and give me your email address and just tell me it's for the 5.5k challenge and i will send you that via email and you will have that to print from your computer and you can always save the file to your computer and you can print that over and over again for your convenience. Again, just give me a blue heart emoji down below with the year 2024 behind it, and then go ahead and run over to either my email or my Instagram, they're both linked down below at the very bottom of all the linkings and all the description stuff um, is my how to contact me. It's got my email address in there, my Instagram, and also our home address. So. That is how you get the 20, or the two, no, that is how you get the 5.5K challenge that I sell on Etsy in my shop. That's how you get it for free, just sent to you by email. So, questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, y'all can throw it at me in the comment section down below. We are trying to get on track again with our house. We are super finger crossed that my visa is going to go through this coming year. Um, and that my husband will be over here by this summer. We got a lot of things going on in the house. Again, a lot of home redo, but we are gonna save at the same time. I'm gonna be very smart in how I do this. We are gonna save, my Affirm account is gonna go up and down, up and down. Y'all know that that's coming around the corner, but I need to get the items in the house now. And I wanna pay over time because y'all, my credit just jumped up again by 33 points. And I'm going, what? <laughs> Yes, it did. And I, I give part of that not only to my self-credit lend or um, for my self-credit card, which I have linked down below. If you guys are interested, I have a referral link. I believe it gives me $10 for anybody that signs up under self. But 
It is also linked to, yes, I pay off my credit cards every single month in full. I don't have interest, but also because I'm using my firm account and I'm paying religiously on that. I do have a video coming out here shortly that will also include my Etsy income. And with that, we've been able to pay off another account, y'all, on my firm account. So thank you for everybody who is purchasing anything off of Etsy from our side because everything moving forward for this upcoming year, everything I make on Etsy is strictly going to go to paying off my firm accounts. Um, again, they're gonna be up and down. All up right, y'all, second time this year we've hit the 40 minute mark, I apologize. But anyways, as I was saying, we are gonna be purchasing things for our house off and on through every single month. I will try to include you guys in on those purchases so you can see what we're doing, things of that nature. I'm gonna get wish lists put up so you guys can follow along with us on what we're wishing on for these kiddos and that is basically my plan i need to keep everything in a digital sense because i can't see in a write and pen and uh, paper sense i mean you all see that i have trackers on that here but my kids will help me be filling things like that in so that they can see a visual thing you can see a visual thing but i do keep a lot of my things also digitally such as the happy scale that i just mentioned not too long ago on and um some other things, you know, like my food diaries and things of that nature, using the two different food programs that I have online. One free, one I did purchase for myself as my self-care item. So with all that being said, y'all, you know, like I said, if you guys ever want to contact me, you've got all my information linked down below. It is all at the very bottom of the description box. So if you just scroll down a little bit, you'll find that down there. But, you know, we're gonna just going to have things done. We're going to be okay with everything we're doing in this house. We're going to be okay with 2024. We've got great outlooks, great plans, hoping that we're going to be moving to Arkansas, hopefully sooner, more sooner than later. Um, so I can be around my daughter and my grandson. My daughter's birthday is coming up on November 28th. I've already bought her her birthday present. I bought that back in October. <laughs> I'm ahead of the game on that. And she got a microwave in October. This month, she got the convection oven. Um, that was her Christmas present. But once again, I got a good sale on it. So I bought it early and I'm ahead of the game. So with that being said, that is all that we have for you today. Um, as I mentioned before, if you had any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, you can always feel free to leave those in the comment section. You can also leave them in my email or you can Instagram me if you have anything privately that you would like to discuss with me that you don't want to put in a comment as well. So we will catch you in the next video. I got a lot of updating to do between now and then, a lot of new tracking to do between now and then, and so that I can show you because we're not going to wait till 2024 to start our new year. We're starting it now. So you know what? Better sooner then later instead of better later than never but that's what we're doing for the year so that year starts as of now we'll catch you in the next video without limits is out